what I'm going to do is free you from the insecurity that is keeping you from being his wife. I know you're going to, I know you believe I'm wrong, but I sit in this chair an awful lot. And you're crying not because you're right. You're crying because I hit the nail on the head. You are frightened. People don't get that angry and that pushy and that rigid and keep talking about, he doesn't defend me, he doesn't defend me, he doesn't defend me, unless you feel weak and insecure inside. And what I want to tell you is, he's a quiet, retiring dude. That's who he is. You said you didn't mind who he was, but you do. You want a soldier out there fighting for you, and he's a quiet dude working from the back. And if you're not comfortable with a quiet dude working from the back, he's not the dude for you. You keep throwing him out. You keep, you know, his family, and he doesn't do this for me, he doesn't do that for me, and he ruined all my pregnancies. If I had one-tenth of those problems with a dude, I'd have been gone. You don't seem to like anything about him. And I know you love him, and you have two kids with him. I don't, th I don't think he's comfortable speaking up to you. I don't think he is comfortable expressing himself. I think he is very, very uh, desirous of making this, this relationship work, but I think it's if he's just a little bit off dead, dead stop center of exactly what you want, it's all hell coming his way.